Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K edition of John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness. channel please hit the like button subscribe hit that bell notification i put out videos every single day you can also find me over twitter and instagram at movie guy 365 as well as over at the disney magic hour podcast i will leave a link for that in the description okay prince of darkness in 4k is here john carpenter's film one of i feel one of his more underrated kind of movies and i'm the reason i'm reviewing this twofold is because one i'm a huge john carpenter fan and also this was a generous gift from a, a wonderful subscriber michael from germany thank you so much again uh, I'm a huge Carpenter fan, and I just and I knew that the uh, the UK and the other international markets did receive a few films from uh, the John Carpenter Library in the 4K format. We have not received here in the states uh, a couple others, you know, like The Fog and Escape from New York. Both got 4K releases. I hope to put them in my library one day. But in the meantime, we have Prince of Darkness, and as I said at the beginning, it's pretty much, I feel, one of his more underrated films. It's very creepy, it's very kind of an atmospheric horror film, and I think it still works. It's it's not, I don't feel terribly dated. Uh, the movie takes place in 1987 with little aspects of futureness here and there, but... So, I enjoy the movie quite a bit, and I'm very excited to get a hold of this. So, let's not waste any more time. I'm anxious to talk about the picture quality and the audio, but before we do that, let's do an unboxing of this incredible set. All right, we have John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness in 4K. They haven't released a lot of the Carpenter films here in the States, so these you can only get over in the UK and other territories. But once again, thank you to Mike for sending this to me. I, it has been years since I've seen this, and to watch this again in 4K, I cannot wait. I'm anxious to check it out. So yeah, let's take a look. I mean, that's just a good cover right there. And then we have the rear cover. And then I, I already slightly pulled this out because it was kind of a pain in the butt to pull out. But let's take a look here. And it comes with a book. All right. Nice. Really digging that. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Let's check that out a little later. And let's open it up. Let's see here. Oh, okay. We have some, looks like some cards. Postcards. All right. Wow, <laughs> nice. This is cool. Wow, a little gory. There we go. This is very cool. Let's start with that. This is very neat. And a poster. Oh, I think I know exactly where I'm going to put this. Uh, this is cool. This is cool. I really dig the artwork here. So, you know, I'll just stretch that out a little bit so you can see. Very neat. And then the interior work here, really nice. As you can see, there's various artwork here. This is this is really neat. This is very generous. Thank you so much, Mike. Very awesome. I can't wait to check this thing out. All right, so let's do a uh, quick uh, look at the uh, video and the audio. When it comes to older movies, I feel that uh, 4K HDR and Dolby Vision can really just further enhance an already good looking image if done properly. Uh, I feel this movie looks fantastic utilizing the 4K Dolby Vision. Now you're not going to get a whole lot of color pop as far as that goes in that aspect. It does pop in from here and there. The green, uh, the green force energy uh, definitely has a little bit of a benefit from that. And, uh, you know, other little aspects here and there, but this is a very detail oriented kind of Dolby Vision, as well as black levels. I think are the, both of those aspects are the highlights of this disc. It's a very clean looking image. It retains the film grain, but to appropriate levels, uh, even those, even to those people that aren't like fans of it, I, I don't think you really have anything to complain about here. I think overall, it's a really good looking disc. It, it maintains the mood and atmosphere of that, of that uh, setting. And it, it's just an overall fantastic fantastic looking image no complaints whatsoever in that in that regard i think several you know a couple there's a couple scenes uh at nighttime of course where it really utilizes that black level and there's the one scene where uh, one of the characters comes in and and there's like kind of like a black lit area there and you kind of feel like something's hiding behind there and it's a nice deep level it's uh, those things are the things i really appreciate when it comes to their picture quality it's it's a good mil a good film i mean it was it was uh i believe released in the um 
87, 88, and I think it just it looks really good overall as far as that goes. Uh, audio quality wise, we have a DTS 5.1, and I think it sounds fantastic. I don't think it necessarily needed a huge bump up. I think what we get here for the type of film we get here is is more than enough. Uh, I love the the score in this, where it just kind of feels like it's like impending doom, and it lasts for long bursts of time. And it's but it doesn't overpower the audio. I think it really maintains a nice little balance. Uh, surround sound effects aren't overly plentiful. There's a couple here and there, nothing that's overly aggressive. But I think it just has to do with the time period uh, and just the overall feel of the film. It doesn't really warrant a whole lot of surround sound effect. It's there in doses, but it's not nothing that's going to overpower your audio system. Uh, front channel speakers sound great. Center channel, very nicely, just very easy to understand everybody. It's clear. I love that. No no kind of film hiss or anything like that or background noise. It's for, for the film uh, of its time. It sounds great. It's really good. LFE kicks on on occasions. Not, once again, not an overly aggressive track. It's just something that it, it complements things that are happening on screen. It, it's not, you know, it's not the star of the show per se, but, you know, it does have a little bit of action here and there. Overall, I think Prince of Darkness has a really nice picture, really good audio. I think it is a fantastic pickup for anybody who is a John Carpenter fan. It's been a number of years since I've seen this film, and really when watching this in 4K with Dolby Vision, it's like I'm watching it all over again for the first time. It really looked good. It's a nice, clean picture. Very good audio. Overall, a really good package. I can't wait to check out The Fog and Escape from New York at some point. I'm anxious to check out the other Carpenter titles in 4K because The Fog is actually one of my favorites. And I just, if, if it's any indication of what we got here, I'm very excited what we could be getting with The Fog. So let me know in the comments below if you had a chance to pick this one out and what you thought of it. And are you a fan of Prince of Darkness? In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.